So now let's go over four quick stats about internet leads. 44% of agents give up after one attempt, one follow-up attempt. 92% of agents give up after the fourth try. 60% of leads say no four times before they say yes. And on average, online real estate leads take about six to 24 months to convert. They do take a while. So knowing all that, I knew we needed an accountability system and using a CRM as leverage to it to deliver that. So we use what I call the CAN system, client active nurture. So hot, warm, cold, basically. It's not rocket science. It's relatively simple, but we have a system, the CAN system, to follow up these leads to make sure we have a proven process to convert them because they're worthless if you don't convert them. And the system does three things. It has automated follow-up, accountability to have manual follow-up because as good as ChatGPT is, you still need a little human interaction. You know, did you see the the football game yesterday or the baseball game, right? Like, you know, that's that. So they know it's a human being um, and the ability to predict your income, which is personally my favorite part, especially as a numbers nerd. So what we do with this is we, you know, you're trying to get a pulse when you have a lead. What, what is a pulse? It's when they respond. So when, when you get a lead through your manual, automated, whatever it is, texting, emailing, calling, whatever you do, you're trying to get a response from that person to see if they are, have a heartbeat, right? If, they're, if they put in fake info or not, do they have a pulse? So if they do not have a pulse, they go as a new lead in our pipeline. New leads have obviously manual follow-up and automated follow-up for us. There's three stages of a new lead. There's the, there's the new period, or sorry, there's three stages. I mean, let me slow down. There's three stages. There's the new period, the hot period, and the stale period, which I'm about to break down, but I'm, I'm excited. I'm going so fast. <laughs> um, so this is for manual follow-up, what we have set. Now, all of these reminders, the call, text, manually, go right into the dashboard. You click on it and there's your log of people you've got to manually follow up with. You can actually click the start button and it'll kind of just burn through it one at a time because we like to work things in bulk really and quickly and efficiently. So when it's new, the new period of that new lead is speedily. You've got to get to there as quickly as you can. So we have that first call as quickly as possible, hopefully in the first minute. Hot period is over the next 10 days. So we, you know, obviously we had the stats about four follow-ups. You can see we have those four follow-ups set there over those that hot period of 10 days. The lead is still hot for the first 10 days. Then after that, it's stale. So after that, we're every 30 days, we're manually calling or texting um, these leads. So this is just, again, accountability to remind yourself because you think you'll follow up that much. But once you, you need to work a lot of leads, 33 to get one sale, right? So you need 100 a month to get three sales. That's hard to stay accountable to. It's hard to track that. So this is just a system to stay in touch manually. Now, of course, there's automated follow-up as well. Um, and that just goes on forever. We've got all kinds of templates in there for that. Now, if they do have a pulse, if they responded to you and you know it's a human being, <laughs> uh, we put them into one of three buckets. Client is a for sure sale. 100% going to buy or sell and you know it'll be with you. Active you know, you detect that they're going to do something, buy or sell. You're just not 100% sure you've got them locked up with you. You know, they're scared. You're scared they might fly away. Nurture is a shot in the dark. Um, really, they're just browsing or just considering selling. They might be looking for a family member or friend. Uh, you know, they're, they're just there. That's what they are. So basically, it's hot, warm, cold. Uh, but we just call it client active nurture because I like to call it can because I like to name stuff. It's fun. <laughs> so let's talk about clients, the for sure sales. What does that look like? So we have a manual follow-up of every 14 days. So when we mark somebody follow or, or client in our system, every 14 days, it's going to trigger a reminder for us to text or call or a task, whatever. And our automated campaign is process explainers. How do inspections work? Um, what are mortgage types? What about the appraisals or repairs that might be needed through them? Uh, escrow money or hand money deposit. Um, now for active, we're going to follow up once every seven days. We're going to follow up more than our clients because we think we got our clients locked up, but we still have the accountability to, to, you know, there to stay in touch. Act is we need to pull over. So we need to be more aggressive. So it's once every week, we're going to manually touch base with them. And then we have, um, questions on the process for the automated campaign here. It's, you know, did you, did you have, did you want to change your criteria? Did you, did you have any questions on this or that, you know, stuff like that. 
Now, nurture, you know, they're just browsing, just looking. We're going to follow up with them once every 30 days manually. And our automated campaign here is just trying to spark a conversation. I've got some great homes in this neighborhood. Would you like to, um, would you like me to send them to you? You know, we're trying to continue that conversation so that if they do have a magic moment where they flip and decide to make, take action, that we're um, having that deeper conversation with them when they change. So another big problem in real estate, though, is the very slow gratification of the business. Um, it's a very slow gratification process. And like we said, on average, online real estate leads take about six to 24 months to convert. So I started checking what I call real conversion rate versus future conversion rate to get a belief in the process and to continue to push through. Uh, so quick uh, example of what I mean. Real is very simple. If it's sold or under contract, it's into your real conversion rate. It's counted as real because it really happened. If it's marked client and active, if you do consistently put it into these buckets, we count for that future conversion rate. We add it to the real and we count the clients as 100% sale. And we count the actives as a quarter sale because we think, you know, 25% of them will work out. Uh, we used to just do it that way. We now in our CRM actually also count the nurtures and new leads at the 3% standard conversion rate too. Um, so a little case study. This was back in 2018. Uh, I had an agent partner um, who got more belief in the internet leads she was working early on because of this system. So three months in, she was three months in, we pulled this from our ugly spreadsheet <laughs> that we used to have. Now it's all nice and tidy in our system, but we used to just run this all in spreadsheets. We do the math, uh, but her real conversion rate, she had one sale. It was in the high sale. It was 6,000 GCI to her. So 6,000 over three months, two grand a month. And she had a ton of leads. I think it was like 41 leads or something like that. So, which is funny, right? One out of 33. Anyway, she didn't have much belief in the process, you know, making two grand a month, getting into this lead generate, they're getting into real estate. She was newer. It's like, oh, I'm not that excited. But when we did the math on the future and we coupled in the clients and actives that she categorized when she got a pulse from them, we saw there was more meat on the bone. She saw the 45 grand number was in the pipeline. So that showed her that she could be on a 15 grand a month pace if she continues with that belief in the process and goes further. So she did. So let's fast forward to nine months. At nine months, she had 90K sold, 90K, 10 grand a month. That was, that, was, that was real because she had belief to push on. But then she still has meat on the bone. It's 127 when you do the math with the actives and clients as well. So she's not at her optimal conversion rate. But we never would have got here because she would have gave up like most agents I talk to do with a lot of lead, lead generation strategies because there's no predictability and no belief to continue to push further. It's, it's hard to push further without that check coming in. And this helps that. It's not as good as the check coming in, but it helps that because it shows you what's in the tank. So the CAN system tells us who to follow up with and when. It gives us key performance indicators to drive predictability in our business. And it also gives us clarity into our database and different lead sources. We could see one lead source may be performing good now, but doesn't have as much on the bone. Whereas another one may not be performing as great today, but it's got a lot of potential, right? So we can help us make some good decisions uh, based on which lead sources are and how they're performing. So uh, like I said, we used to do that all manually. God, I can't even tell you how miserable it was. We've had it in every CRM you can think of. Um, I've, I've had that client active nurture system. This is really how we converted a lot of those, those Zillow leads prior to even doing this. So now it's all done in our platform, Cheat Code Connector. It's all done. So what happens is our agents literally just get a text when they get any lead from any source or they input any lead into our system. It auto texts our agent and it says, if, is it a buyer, new lead, nurture active client? Is it a seller, new lead, nurture active client, or is it not a lead? They click that link and it starts everything. Once they click that link, it adds that predictability based on, you know, it'll take the average commission and figure out what, what that should be based on each stage, you know, the conversion chances. It's funny how accurate it is. I know because I run it with my team every day. And it puts them into the pipeline, starts the automations, does all that. And then you can come to this visual pipeline and click and drag people to different statuses. You can see your pipeline in front of you. That was one of the most uh, surprising changes for us was when we had this visual pipeline here, we, we were really able to see an agent's pipeline or their future business, you know, or what's going on. And, it's, and, and then when you added the predictability in, in the math there, and you just put it all in automatically for the agents, it gave them like incentive when they saw, you know, 20 grand 
in their nurture category, they would go call their nurture leads because they saw that, you know, they it did the math for them. So we spent months building this system out. Also that really, you know, you or our agents could just plug